Yes, that is right. This Thanksgiving game against the Lions and the Bears is a 100% certified tag bowl with both teams banged up and injured the hell and back. Um, I almost wanted to put this as a tank bowl, too, and we can have a Thanksgiving two-for-one special. One problem with that, the Bears still don't have a first-round pick this year. That pick is currently property of the New Jersey Midgets. And right now, that pick is currently the sixth pick. And the way that's looking like for the Giants, the Giants right now have the fifth and now the sixth pick in the draft. Honestly, the Giants could use one of those picks to draft an extra QB after Daniel Jones once they get rid of his ass. So, yeah, Chicago. So, yeah, right now Chicago trade that first-round pick away in the draft last year to get Justin Fields. And to say that has currently looked like a disaster is an understatement. So, for this week's game, um, currently the Bears enter this game as three-and-a-half-point favorites, so it's looking like to be a close game. In terms of the head-to-head -head series, Chicago eats the all-time series, 103-75-5. And, and Chicago has won five of the last six meetings. So, of course, I went over all the Bears' key players in the Week 4 preview, and I went over their coaches' staff in the Week 4 preview. So, you should all know the players by now. So, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to look at the rankings and the injury report to see how the Bears are just banged up like the Lions. Well, starting off with injuries, Justin Fields, he is current, he's looking to be out with a rib injury. And, of course, the Bears have announced their starter for Thanksgiving. And, of course, the starter for Thanksgiving will be Andy Dalton, the ginger. The Ginger will be starting Week 12. So the Lions will be going up against Andy Dalton for the Week 12 Thanksgiving game. And of course, also banged up is Damian Williams, who is questionable with a calf injury. You also have Darnell Mooney, who is questionable with a foot injury. And Allen Robinson is also questionable with a hamstring injury. Um, in terms of the defense, Akeem Hicks, he's questionable with an ankle injury. And for the Bears linebackers, Khalil Mack and Danny Trevathan are both on the IR with a foot and a knee injury, respectively. And Duke Shelley is also on the IR with a hamstring injury. So a lot of their, this team is banged up. Uh, for the Bears rankings, of course, on their offense this year, it is ranked 31st. It is the second worst offense in the league. They are dead last in the passing game, but oddly enough, the Bears are top 10 in the running game. They are ranked 6 running the ball. So the Bears can't pass the ball worth a shit, but they can run the ball effectively. Because nothing makes sense in 2021. That's just how weird of a year it is. Bears offense is second worst in the league. They can't run, they can't pass the ball, but they can run the ball. Figure that out. Of course, the Bears' defense is ranked 13th. They are 11th against the pass, and they're 24th against the run. So this defense has issues running the ball. So, of course, I think the key for the Lions is, is simply just do what you did the last two weeks but finish the job. That is, run the ball effectively. I mean, Swift has had back-to-back 100-plus -back yard rushing games, so I say just keep feeding Swift the ball. Um, I think for the Lions to have a shot to win this game, I think it has to be a low-scoring game. And, you know, Jared Goff probably looking to be out again. So, please, for the love of God, start David Blow. Start David Blow instead of Tim Doyle. Tim Doyle's a bum. Lions will have a better chance with Blow in. And keep this in mind. If David Blow does start, David Blow did get his first career start against the Bears on Thanksgiving two years ago. So, the lot, so could David Blow potentially get another Thanksgiving start against the Bears here? We'll have to see. But yeah, I think the big key for the Lions to win this game is they have to keep it a lowest scoring game. And let me just put this in perspective for everyone here. The Lions are currently the first overall pick by a game and a half over the Jet, the Butt Fumbles, the Texans, and the Jackoffs. So even if the Lions do win this game, they would still be the first overall pick. So the Lions got a one game cushion to go out and win one for the fans. And you know what? Right now would not be a bad time to. I should also mention that Chicago this year is 1-4 on the road this year, and Detroit is 0-4 at home. So Detroit hasn't been able to win anything this year, and Chicago struggles on the road. So hey, if there's a time to get the first win of the season, Thanksgiving would be a good time to do it. Chicago's banged up. Fields is out. And you know what? You got the whole nation watching. I say fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's go for broke.
Let's go win, son. Let's go win Thursday. I mean, Lions would still be the first overall pick regardless of what happens. So, fuck it. Go win one for the fans, hey? And, you know, the Lions, they've been close so many times. I think it, it's bound to happen that they're bound to win a game. It's bound to happen at some point. So, you know what? I think this week is a perfect time to do it. Thanksgiving, whole nation watching. Let's go for broke and get this win. And I know one thing for sure. I don't want to lose this game for sure. Especially after all the shit the Blackhawks recently just got exposed for. Yo, Judah Tribe, you want us to respect Chicago? Oh, hell no. Chicago definitely ain't getting respect after the Blackhawks shit. When the coaching staff was exposed for pretty much being pedophiles. Especially during the Blackhawks championship run from 2010 to 2015 with those three cups. And, uh, and I'll be honest here, the Blackhawks got punishment. That was the equivalent of a slap on the wrist. Like, seriously, only a $2 million fine for all that? When other teams have been had the book thrown at them for even worse than that? For less severe than that? Like, Chicago, the Blackhawks seem to lose a first or second round pick from that, bolt, from that expose. Like, honestly, that just shows how much of a joke the NHL is and how much of a boys club it is. The boys club mentality. But yeah, Judah, Chicago definitely ain't getting any respect anytime soon, especially from Detroit. They would get no sympathy. I'll say this, Judah. I already know you're going to be pumping your chest so much about this game this week. So you know what, Judah? I'll just make this simple. You better win Thursday or else you do not win this game Thursday, Judah. I will be coming after you for the rest of the season. You will not hear the goddamn end of it. I mean, it would be funny as hell if the Bears gave the Lions their first win of the year. Because if they do, Judah Tribe's salty reaction will be worth it. Because Judah would be salty as fuck when he pumps his chest about how garbage the Lions are. And then the Bears give the Lions their first win of the season. It would be funny as hell if that happened. It would be super funny. But yeah. And of course, Judah. By the way, Judah, how you doing? Still the NASCAR heavyweight champ. I still have this belt without your dumbass advice. At least I'm the one Lions fan that learned how not to be a loser. So, hey. But yeah, anyway, I hope the Lions win this game Thursday. Go win one for the fans, finally. And I hope the Lions embarrass the Bears. And by the way, I also heard there's a rumor going around that the Bears would, could fire Matt Nagy. If the Bears lose to the Lions Thursday. I know a lot of Bears fans want the Bears to lose. So Nagy gets fired. I feel like I've seen this situation before with the Lions a few years ago at Thanksgiving. When, the, when there was a report going around that the Lions would fire Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn. If they lost to the Bears on Thanksgiving. Of course that never happened. But the Lions would fire Patricia and, Nett and Quinn a year later. After the Lions lost to the Texans on Thanksgiving. But yeah, I'm not sure if that report is true or not, but you never know. And of course, I did hear about the Bear Fire Nagy chant during the Bears-Ravens game. And the fact that Matt Nagy's already ruining, that Bears fans want him also fired for ruining Justin Fields. No, 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 Bears fans. Justin Fields was already ruined before then. Justin Fields was ruined the moment he stepped foot in Chatoilet. He was ruined the moment he put a Bears jersey on. Because Chicago, once again, has made the mistake of drinking the Ohio State QB. QB Kool-Aid. Because all QBs that come out of Ohio State have never been worth a damn in the league. Let me just mention this. 34 QBs out of Ohio State have entered the league. All 34 have combined for a grand total of zero Pro Bowls. And you put an Ohio State QB on a team that can't develop QBs worth a damn. Yeah, this had disaster written all over it from the start. And to think that Lions fans actually wanted Justin Fields. Man, you stupid sorry dipshits. That's, you never drink the Kool-Aid. It is a dangerous drug. You never drink it. And for anyone that says that this will be different with Fields, I'll believe it when I see it. And right now, I ain't seeing it yet. 
But yeah, honestly, regardless if the Lions win or lose this game, I hope the Bears keep that useless sack of shit, Matt Nagy. Nothing would bless my black little heart, but the Bears having Matt Nagy and being stuck in the cycle of mediocrity again. Now, let's be real. Matt Nagy's division title win in 2018, that division title was a fucking fluke. The Bears only got that fucking division title because they had an easy schedule and they had a weak-ass division. Mainly taking advantage of the Packers having a civil war between Aaron Rodgers and Mike McCarthy. Because notice how the Bears haven't done a damn thing since then. One of the things got tougher and everyone caught up to them. And now the Bears are stuck in mediocrity. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Judah Tribe, you better win Thursday. Or else.